Cheers. I kicked off 2019 hanging out with some great people. It really helped me set the tone for the new year ahead. As winter wrapped up and the weather got nicer, I was able to get out in nature and breathe the fresh air. I love being outside when it's nice out. Going for a walk or jog is truly therapeutic. April is my birthday month and I wanted to treat myself to a nice little getaway. So I hopped on a plane and went to visit a good friend of mine in Colorado. That place is awesome. I took in the beautiful scenery that is the Red Rocks open space at the base of Pikes Peak. That area is truly amazing. The views are incredible no matter where you're standing. If you've never been there before, I definitely recommend you put it on your bucket list. We hit up Denver to check out a Colorado Rockies game. That stadium was incredible. Look at that view. I had a blast and the Rockies got the win. Of course I had to check out some local food spots. We had some awesome food and kicked it around the city for a day. I also kind of picked up the hobby of painting. I'm definitely a beginner, but I certainly enjoy the sense of calmness and peace that it brings. I was even able to sell a few pieces. I certainly want to do more painting in 2020. So being the sports fan that I am, I definitely had a blast at the Colonels games this spring and summer. I mean, just check out that field. I usually attend with my brother who's a bona fide baseball guru. I certainly enjoyed the time we spend together there. You can usually catch us in section 104, first row, behind the first baseline. If you've never been to a minor league game in your area, you should definitely check it out. No matter who you are, I'm sure you'll have fun. Summer brings wedding season, which means bachelor parties with the boys. But we kept it cool and calm, we had a good meal, checked out a comedy show, and then hit the city for some nightlife. We even got Rick on the bull. And what's a bachelor party without some twerking, right? Rick and Angel's wedding was awesome. The ceremony was super dope and everyone had a blast. It was truly a love and hip hop wedding. Thank you guys for including me in your special day. It was hands down the best wedding I've ever attended. I also got to check out some local music festivals too. There's some really talented artists around here. I'm not as active in the music scene much anymore, but I still try to keep a finger on it. I really wanted to enjoy my experiences in 2019, so what better way to do that than step out of my element for once, right? My friend Erica makes some amazing jewelry, and I got to help her set up a booth at an arts and crafts festival. I walked around, saw some really cool stuff, enjoyed some good food, and even caught some live music. Even though the country farm life isn't for me, I had a great time. It was pretty cool. Did I mention that I spent a lot of time at Colonel's Games this summer? This time I kicked it with some good friends of mine at the ballpark. The weather was perfect. DJ did some really dope vlogs and Oink is a super dope artist. We had a great time out there. It was good to get some laughs in with some friends. Fall season rolled around, which means only one thing, football. If you've never been to a Hawkeye game, you're definitely missing out. This year I went with my brother, and for the first time, I got to participate in the wave. The U of I Children's Hospital means a lot to my family, so the moment was surreal and awesome. And what's fall without Friday night high school football? Check out my nephew Isaiah. I love this kid. The holidays rolled around and I had to have some good food. I mean, baked mac and cheese, dressing, potatoes, gravy, fried chicken, cornbread. There's nothing better than some holiday comfort soul food. I missed out on the greens though. I can't express enough how fun it's been creating these Eagles game recap videos and connecting with other fans. Man, what a season it's been. I can't wait to see how the playoffs are gonna play out. Fly Eagles fly. 2019, I had some really genuine experiences. Through the good and the bad of the year, I want to thank those around me for helping me shape and mold the past 365 days. I'll see you all in 2020.
Peace.